How is one combined cycle? One combined cycle is composed by three main elements, the gas turbine, the HRG, and the steam turbine. In this video, we will see uh, how is uh, one combined cycle, which are the main element, and uh, we will see a particularization of PP10 project in Saudi Arabia. What is a combined cycle? Well, combined cycle is a power plant that generates uh, electricity and uh, combine two cycles. One cycle is related with a gas turbine connected with a generator and uh, a steam turbine that uh, obtain the heat to convert the water in a steam from the uh, exhaust of the gas turbine. Uh, connecting one, steam, one gas turbine to a steam turbine, we, we obtain a very good efficiency. Uh, the, the efficiency of the gas turbine is more or less 30-35%, uh, but um, when we connect together one gas turbine and one steam turbine, what we obtain is 55 or 60 or even more uh, from the energy contained in the fuel. Uh, the main element, the main component, the main equipment of one uh, combined cycle, of course, is the gas turbine. The gas turbine is composed by three uh, parts, three important parts. The, the first one is the compressor, the air coming from here, and the, the air is compressed, and we obtain here one air that has some uh, pressure and some temperature. Uh, this air uh, increases the temperature with the help of the combustor. And this is the combustion chamber. The second element of the gas turbine is the combustion chamber where we increase the temperature of the air. Uh, after the third element is the uh, expansion turbine where the, um, this pressure is loose with the compression of the air that we have uh, the, the, the temperature and the pressure has been increased here and um, uh, decompression we obtain one mechanical energy here in the shaft this mechanical energy uh, then with the help of one generator is converted in electrical energy uh, the, the gas turbine operate in a Brighton cycle where uh, we increase first the uh, in this diagram the pressure uh, represent the, the pressure uh, against the volume uh, we increase the pressure reducing the volume uh, after we increase the temperature and after we uh, decrease the pressure and in this cycle we obtain finally mechanical uh, energy that we translate uh, to a generator. Uh, the second important element in one combined cycle is the boiler. The heat, discovery, uh, heat recovery steam generator is uh, the element where we uh, transform the heat contained in the exhaust, uh, in the flue gas of the, steam turbine, of the gas turbine, in steam, uh, in potential energy is in a steam with some pressure and uh, some temperature. Uh, we can obtain a steam in one, two or three levels, different levels, and to, uh, um, to attack one steam turbine, one, two or three steam turbine. Uh, here we can see the different bundles uh, of tube that compose the, mm, the heat recovery steam generator, the HRSG, and uh, finally, the gas goes uh, to one stack uh, to the atmosphere. The flue gas finally uh, could be between 100 or 150 degrees, depending of the, uh, the, the condition, the, depending uh, the, the fuel. For example, in the case of uh, natural gas, we prefer around uh, 100. In the case of crude oil, uh, we prefer 150 
is because the the condensation the the dew point of the uh, the flue gas, especially related with the sulfuric acid. The last element, the, the last important element of the uh, combined cycle is the steam turbine. The steam turbine decompresses the steam that we have produced in the uh, heat recovery steam generator in uh, mechanical energy, rotating uh, energy that I, after attack to a generator produce electrical energy. Uh, in this uh, turbine, we use uh, one uh, the, the uh, one different cycle, not the Brighton cycle, the ranking cycle. And the ranking cycle, uh, one of the element of this ranking cycle is the turbine generator, but the other element are some pumps, a boiler, and, and a water steam cycle uh, that close all the circuit. Why we need to condensate the the steam? We need to condensate the steam because we need to pressure. To, to increase the pressure of the water. We need to pressurize the water. In the uh, HRG, we increase the temperature, but do, we don't increase the pressure. Do we increase the pressure here, the pump? And after, in the boiler, what we increase is the temperature. Uh, uh, it's uh, better to condensate, because increase the pressure of the steam is very expensive, and increase the pressure of the water in the liquid uh, is very cheap because the, the uh, pressurizing the, there is no change in the volume. The third question is how we create the vacuum. Uh, some people think that uh, we need a vacuum pump to create the vacuum here, but that's not true. Uh, we need uh, the vacuum pump to maintain the vacuum, to create the, the, the vacuum. Uh, we do the vacuum condensating the steam. Uh, once we condensate the steam, the vacuum appears by himself. Because uh, if we take out the, the steam, what uh, what is there is nothing. This is the vacuum. We need the uh, the holding system to maintain the vacuum. Uh, only because uh, with the steam there is a little amount of air, little amount of uh, CO2, little amount of uh, nitrogen, or little amount of oxygen and uh, it is necessary to take out with a um, little device. Or, uh, it could be a vacuum pump or could be ejectors uh, to do this vacuum. But the vacuum is not made uh, with the ejector. We maintain the vacuum with the ejector. Only in the first moment, in the, during the startup, it is necessary to have a, a big ejector or a, uh, or a vacuum pumps to create the, the first vacuum. But after, it is necessary only to maintain uh, taking out the oxygen, nitrogen, or CO2, the air that we can have in the uh, mix it with the steam. Um, there are another element, uh, another uh, assembly of elements, another uh, assembly of systems that uh, are necessary to uh, to operate the plant. Are called balance of plant (BOP). Mm, it's a name strange. It's not a very good name because maybe uh, a best name is the auxiliary system. But the, the BOP, the balance of plant, are composed by different systems, very different systems, necessary to uh, maintain the, the, the plant in operation. This is the closed cooling water, closed cooling system, the compressed air, the uh, water treatment plant, the five phase system, the potable water, the nitrogen system, the sampling system, the HUAC system, the drainage system, and uh, other some other uh, system that we need to maintain the uh, all the planning uh, in operation. Um, there are two main configurations for the uh, combined cycle. One of the configurations is single shaft. Single shaft is uh, connect. Uh, we do the single shaft connecting one uh, gas turbine in the same shaft and one uh, steam turbine and one generator. All these in the same shaft and uh, turning together. This is called a uh, single shaft. The boiler, of course, is uh, mm -hmm. uh, the flue gas that goes to the that uh, goes in the, in the outlet of the gas turbine goes in uh, the, uh, the the HRG, and this made the steam that we use in the steam turbine. This is single shaft. 
We have another design, it's a multi shaft. Each turbine has its own generator. Are the, the, the different gas turbine and steam turbine are not connected together in the same shaft, are in, in a different shaft. Uh, which is uh, the main advantage of the, um, uh, of the combined cycle? Uh, the main advantage is the, of the combined cycle is that uh, we combine two cycles to thermodynamic, uh, th thermodynamic cycles, the uh, cycle of the gas turbine with the cycle of the steam turbine to obtain a better efficiency. Uh, comparing the efficiency of the gas turbine, 30-35, with the uh, plus the um, efficiency of the steam turbine, 30-35, to we obtain uh, one efficiency, a combined efficiency, between 50 and 60. There is no other technology uh, where we can obtain a electrical efficiency like this one. Which are the main uh, advantage of one combined cycle power plant? Is, uh, first, uh, is the flexibility, the possibility to uh, work in full or partial load. Other plant like the coal um, power plant or the nuclear plant has not the same possibility uh, to operate in partial load. Uh, we have a very high efficiency, and we have seen uh, the efficiency of the combined cycle is one of the best, the, the, the best advantage of the combined cycle. Uh, less emission because the, the emission is only the corresponding emission with the gas turbine. The steam turbine has no emission. Uh, is uh, the low cost um, one uh, combined cycle cost around. Uh, 600,000 dollars per megawatt installed. Then uh, is no other uh, technology that can has the same level of, uh, the, the, of cost. Low surface, uh, the amount of land that we need to put one of these plants is very low. Short time of construction, normally between 20, 24, 26 months from the first moment that the, the, uh, the construction start to the um, uh, provisional acceptance certificate to the end of the construction is uh, more or less 22 months is the, the, the most normal. Uh, sometimes this uh, time is bigger, but uh, normally this is the, the, the average time, the reference time is 22 months and uh, the, the cooling water that we need is lower than other technologies. Even in the case of uh, ACC, aero condenser, uh, we don't need um, water, we need only a little amount of water. Uh, related to PP10, uh, uh, we have, um, which is the, the, uh, the number of, uh, which is the, the configuration of PP10. PP10 has four, 40 uh, gas turbine, uh, 60 megawatt per each uh, gas turbine. Um, the fuel is uh, normally crude oil. We have the possibility to to use uh, other fuels. Uh, is um, it was built into phases. One phase was the um, build it uh, with open cycle, and the second phase was uh, built in combined cycle. This. Uh, in this plan, we can see the uh, open cycle configuration, and uh, from open cycle, uh, there was a modification made by Benko. Uh, in the extension, this modification is uh, the, the 40 uh, gas turbine are connected to 40 heat recovery steam generator, and uh, each four uh, heat recovery steam generator generate the steam for one uh, gas turbine, uh, for one steam turbine. Then we have 40 heat recovery steam generator and 10 steam turbines. 10 uh, air cooled condenser, or very big installation, in order to avoid the use of water, and all a new uh, balance of plant system uh, with uh, uh, different systems that we need to operate in, in combined cycle. For example, the, the um, water treatment plant or um, uh, different elements that we need. Uh, in this moment, the total power is 
3,700 megawatt and is one of the biggest combined circuit in the world. Uh, these are the heat recovery steam generator. The new heat recovery uh, steam generator from NEM is the, so the vendor of, the, of these uh, boilers. This is uh, the steam turbine, the SC4 uh, steam turbine, one very reliable uh, steam turbine. And this, uh, this is the uh, new e ACC, the uh, air condenser. PP10 is one of the biggest uh, combined cycle in the world, 3,700 uh, megawatts of uh, installed power. Uh, in this video, we have SO, which are the main element, and which is the particularization for this project.